السلام عليكم طلاب هذا الفيديو التعريف العاشر لمادة الرواية الصف الثالث قسم اللغة الإنجليزية كلية اللغات وأنا وياكم دكتورة هالة So we reach chapter 11 and the title of chapter 11 is No Way Out and uh, Charles Dickens always tried to uh, imply the meaning of uh, the chapter through the title so we understand that there is no way out of something and when we going when we are going to read the chapter we understand that it is related to Stephen Blackmore so you need to ask yourself a couple of questions while you read this chapter what does Stephen want from Bounder Bay to what Stephen was referring when he said it's a muddle What does it mean when Bounder Bay says turtle soup and venison and gold spoon? Venison is the meat of uh, a deer. Why does Stephen want an annulment of his marriage? It means he wants to end his marriage. So Stephen seeks an advice from Mr. Bounder Bay regarding his marriage. And Bounder Bay agrees to meet with him because Stephen is known as a responsible worker who does not cause problems. So this means that Bounder Bay does not meet with all the workers. He meets with certain ones, though, especially those who does not have any problems or does not make any troubles for him. Unlike other workers who Bounder Bay believes are only interested in luxury. So Bounder Bay always uh, mistreats the workers in his factories because he thinks that they are whining, complaining, and their life is very good. And that's why he does not, he excludes himself from the sufferings of the workers. Stephen is not one to demand extravagant things like to be fed on turtle soup and venison with a gold spoon. This sentence is very important. It is said by Bounder Bay a couple of times when he refers to the workers. Whenever he talks about the workers, he would say this uh, sentence This sentence refers to the rich people because uh, turtle soup, venison, gold, gold spoon, these are things for rich people. And he thinks that uh, the workers are whining all the time, are, are complaining all the time, and they don't want to work. They want only a luxurious life. And that's why he accused them whenever he talks with any worker by saying this, uh, uh, by saying this uh, sentence. So Mr. or Stephen Blackpool asked an advice, asked for an advice from Bounder Bay, thinking that Bounder Bay is going to help him. But Bounder Bay said that he had to take his wife for better and worse and that's why he should not complain she should accept his life as it is and he should not get rid of his wife because there is no law or or legislation that would make him uh, end the marriage Stephen told him that he heard that one of the rich people did it and Mr. Bounder Bay explained a certain long procedures of how to do that and it would cost him a fortune. It would cost Stephen Blackpool a fortune to do that. That's why this law or legislation is not for the poor. It's only for the rich people, which... Stephen did not like, of course. So Stephen shared with Bounder Bay how his wife constantly embarrasses him and runs away. <clears throat> As for, despite him paying her off for five years to stay away, he suggested to Bounder Bay that there was a wealthy man who was able to divorce his wife, but Bounder Bay refused and implied that Stephen was immoral. Bounder Bay also explained that a divorce would cost Stephen too much money. 
It's a fortune actually at that time. So Stephen was frustrated with the situation and the class differences between the rich and the poor. That's why Stephen did not like the answer. He understood that or after 40 years, now he's 40, now he understands that there is a class distinction between the rich and the poor, that there is no law or any legislation that might help the poor. That's why he called it a muddle, meaning that there was no way for the poor to escape bad situations and the laws were not in favor of workers. Bounder Bay was angered by Stephen's response and criticized him for doubting the decisions and rules of institutions and the government. Of course, Bounder Bay is one of the beneficials of the peop of the rich people, the high class people who uh, benefited from the laws at that time, and that's why he hated how. Uh, Stephen criticized it, calling these laws as the muddle. He did not like the answer of uh, Stephen Blackpool, and he uh, he kind of dismissed Stephen for doing that. In chapter 12, there is a new character. It's a minor character, but it's a very important character by the end of the story. We will see this woman i i think uh, in three chapters yeah probably three chapters um that's why she is not so important as much as her um what she is uh, or her character is going to help in the events itself so as a character herself is not important as much as uh, how her character enables the event to develop so, who does Stephen meet when he leaves Mrs. Ba uh, Mr. Bounderby's house? What did she tell Stephen? So, he meets this old woman, and uh, the old woman starts t talking with him, asking him so many questions about Bounderby, and telling him that she comes every year to look at Mr. Bounderby's house from far away, and just wait for Mr. Bounderby to go out. She thought that Stephen uh, Blackpool was um, a kind of a friend for Mr. Bounderby, but she then knew that he is just a worker. So when Stephen leaves Mr. Bounderby, he encounters an elderly woman who inquires about the physical appearance and way of life of Bounderby. She asked him a couple of questions about Bounderby, and Stephen was so polite, he wasn't angry, he did not dismiss the lady. He was such a polite person that he answered all her questions, starts walking with her and answering her, all her questions. The woman reveals that she has visited the area once a year for 12 years. So we understand that, that there is a mystery combined with this woman because for 12 years, once a year, she would come look at the house of Bounder Bay from a distance and wishing for him to go out and because she wants to, to see him from far away. But we are, we as readers, we are not introduced to uh, the the real character of this lady. So upon learning that Stephen is a laborer in the factory of Mr. Bonderby, she insists on kissing his hand, which means that she's a very humble uh, lady who used to work because she, te she tells him that she used to work wor with her husband. Now she is kind of living in a, a luxurious life. She does not need to work hard because she has a certain money, but she used to work very hard and that's why she understands the hard work of him. Uh, by this, we end uh, this chapter. Uh, uh, وخلصنا الفيديو التعريف العاشر لمادة الرواية الصف الثالث قسم اللغة الإنجليزية كلية اللغات شكرا جزيلا